CSGO Roll is currently giving away thousands of dollars of skins every week. Some of the game modes on site include Crash and Unboxing, which are all provably fair. PvP is my favorite mode because of the voice chatting feature. Green, green. What, your problem, green? Is your problem? CSGO Roll also offers a jackpot for when it hits triple green, split with those who are brave enough to bet on it. They also give back to their players by giving them daily cases. I'm a level 40, so I get 5 cases. Use the code SPICY for free free cases. Hey, what's going on, everyone, and welcome back. Um, you know, like I mentioned in my intro, if you would like to support the channel, obviously using the code helps me out, but that's also going to be how we kind of start this. Um, so it does, you know, honestly really start with hitting the promo code. You hit claim, it, you know, confirms, you get whatever the promo co code's worth. Obviously, if it's like a site promo, you can get credits and eggs and things like that. Um, obviously, if it's a user base, you're going to get cases more than likely, and then every once in a while, um, I think like the roll code gives you like 0.50 of a coin. Um, but anyways, that is just kind of how to use a promo code. Uh, but there are a couple ways to do that. So obviously there is like, if you're in games and you're looking at roll, you can go ahead and click rewards. And then there's a promo code field. But also if you go up to the top right, go to rewards, there's also the very same promo code field there. Um, obviously it is a different screen. Um, either way is really easy. It's just one click and you're there. Um, but after that, um, the way to check to see if you've used a promo code or um, whose promo code you're on is if you go to your profile and then you go to promo codes. Um, obviously, like I've had some um, G2 King or uh, Kinguin gift card promos that I've used. Um, I think these were both yeah these are both from giveaway streams so there was a 250 times two um and neoc was casting and then there was a leprechaun code um which gave two eggs it didn't actually give two coins um and then obviously my first day here december 29th of 2020 um i used the roll code which gave me cases i believe um so that's how to check where your code is and you know if you need someone to check if they're on a code that's where you'd look um but the next big thing is like the affiliates dashboard. Um, so like obviously like inviting others to use your code and then you get paid on um, their betting, um, you know, three free cases and there are multiple tiers to it, which I'll go into each individually. Um, there, there are analytics, which I'll also explain as well. But that is, I mean, that is about it for just this part of things. Um, but if you are to go up and go to the dashboard, um, I can just kind of break this down by tiers first off. Um, so you start at tier zero. Um, everyone does this. You get 30% of the commission. Um, and when you get 10 coins paid out in commission, uh, you obviously level up to this tier one. Um, and I'll kind of explain how commission is calculated later on because it may say 32%, but it's not actually 32% of the bet. Um, so like right now I'm on tier two and I'm like less than a hundred coins away from tier three. So I would be, so currently I'm getting the 34% and I'm allowed to assign multiple referral codes. Um, but I'm getting really close to that 36% of the house edge. Um, so tier four is just another commission increase. Tier five gives you a personal affiliate manager, which from what I understand, it means that you, um, you are working with a real person basically to find a way to drive more attention to your code. Um, whether that's like a really hyped up video in the very beginning or something of that sort or a promotional code um, around an event or maybe even your own creator case. Um, that is what that tier five kind of covers. And then uh, tier six is when you start to be able to use the loan feature, which is what this is down here. Um, and obviously as you get higher up in the tiers, your commission increases, but you're also, your loan amount goes up, um, with tier 10 and 800 being the highest. Um, so that's about it for that. Uh, but if you look right here, obviously you can change your referral code. And if you're tier two, yeah, if you're tier two, like I am, um, I can add a referral code as long as it isn't taken, but, um, borrow coins. So like it says right here tier five, um, you can start using that. And basically 
from how I understand it, when you reach that point, um, if you were to take out 100 and you have zero available, you're going to have a negative amount in your available funds through your affiliates. So that means um, if you if you pull out 100 coins, you have zero, you're going to be at negative 100 and say someone bets and gets you like five coins in commission, um, that really just takes away from your negative. So you kind of are in debt, but there's no um, there's no required payment, if that makes sense. Um, but up here, these kind of six statistics are going to be the ones you're going to look at the most. Obviously, there's month, week, day. Um, so there is that. But if you look at all referees, total of 79, um, it's going to give you a percentage. But because I haven't even been here a full year, these numbers are going to be super wacky. Um, commission paid, like sometimes the dashboard is outdated. Like I have 151 coins in commission and it says I only have 21 paid out. Um, so obviously that's not true. Um, but retargetable basically are people who have kind of stopped betting, but they're still active on the website. And that means that if you're like a content creator making more videos to get those people reinterested in the site and getting them playing again, that is kind of what a retargetable affiliate is. Um, total wagered this one. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure this is just, um, the amount of coins that your audience has wagered, um, in total versus your commission and then obviously total deposited um so that's like how much your affiliates have in their balances um and this would compare with this so that means that they're holding on to 424 coins total around that more like 423 um and then obviously they've wagered 35 as, as a whole but I know that that is like completely and utterly wrong because once again 151 coins paid out does not make any sense. Um, but right here, this is earnings. So like commission, wagered, and deposited. Um, once again, those numbers are skewed. And there is no way to like automatically update this or force update this. This is something that does it itself. So sadly, um, I can't show you guys the full accuracy of things, but I can explain things to the best of my ability. Um, so obviously, there's commissioned earned. So that would be this green line right here. And if you hover on this... Um, like if you hover on these separate lines, it shows deposit wagered and then, or sorry, wagered and then commission, um, which this would be also false because commission is only earned through wagering. So, um, it does kind of mess with things a lot, but, um, if you look at this, this hasn't updated either. Uh, but if you, I think this is all referees and it just, it hasn't moved, even though I have 79, 71 unconverted, and then obviously like eight people constantly playing. Um, but if you look at these right here, these affiliates, um, wagered, deposited, commission, last seen, last deposit, and then like status. So stealable just means that, um, they're inactive and they can very easily be swung another way. Um, like these are the active people on my code currently. So shout out to those guys. You guys are legends for using the code. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, this kind of goes into that. And I wish there was more I could really say around it. But the stats aren't active. Um, and that is a lot of math for one to do in their head. Um, and I guess lastly, like I know a lot of people use these. Um, but these pictures are here if you're looking to start out and you don't if you don't even have a profile picture then this is absolutely perfect um i will say that like on this site the moderators prefer that you don't have this as your profile picture as it is a form of self promotion in any of the games and or chat if you're talking um so do keep in mind that you may be asked to change it if you use it as your profile picture and obviously any form of advertisement of your code is also against terms of service so i would just be very careful um, about that and that make sure that you don't do that even if someone asks for it because you can get banned for this um, and obviously that is not something we want but that is pretty much everything i have around um i have around this uh i will say that there is like there are some blog posts on like how to um, motivate viewers how to kind of use your code to its fullest where to put it um, how to advertise it things like that so that is really good. Those are really good resources to use if that's something that interests you and you're just not fully informed on that. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope that the, this updated guide has helped you out. Um, obviously, this is going to be a world of difference to my last video because my last video, 
you know, it got a lot of views on it and I don't feel like it really did the justice of the affiliates and the actual code system, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this, just beat the living shit out of that like button because it means the world to me. I love making this content and I love seeing that you guys love it as well, but that's it for me guys. See you all later. Peace.